because I'm really kind of liking the tiny bone shiv of death. Nice and sharp. It's like a little razor. Join the team. Hey team, this is McGuire Review, and today we got a brand new set from WizKids. This is their, or one of their next uh, major sets. It is Snowbound. This is from the D&D &D, uh, side of the house. So you'll see here, Icons of the Realm. Uh, this is set 19, Snowbound, confidential. It's not so confidential anymore. Um, there are some videos already out um, going over these miniatures. If you haven't seen them uh, yet, there are some other videos, but we're going to do one as well where we go through and kind of review the miniatures, and you'll get the uh, miniature cam side-by-side -side, uh, up close on those models so you can uh, take a look and make uh, make your own decision on what you think uh, with this new set. I'm really excited to get into it. I haven't actually watched any of these new videos, and I haven't even broke the seal on my confidential box so this will be the first time that I see it. I like to do it that way because that way I'm seeing this stuff at the exact same time that you are and you can get kind of an honest and opinion and review on what's in the box. We do have another large box here with another model. I did break the tape, but I haven't looked what's in the box, which has been really hard to do. The only thing I saw was when I opened it up, I just saw plastic and it looked like a larger model. So... We'll see what's in here. It is also, it's not branded Snowbound, but it does say uh, Set 19 on it right here. So it does go with the Snowbound set. So let's set that down. We'll do that. We'll do that last. So hang on for, uh, hang on for that one. I'm actually really excited about that. And then let's get into this set. Again, this is not something that you can get. It doesn't come this way. Uh, we will use the tiny Bone Shiv of Death to open up these boxes. I'm really kind of liking the tiny bone shiv of death. Nice and sharp. It's like a little razor. Whew. Hey, this is a promotional set. So again, you can't get it in this form. It is a promotional set um, that has sometimes all of the models within the set. And sometimes it's a selection of the models that are in the set. The larger models in the set will retail generally around the $79.99 price point. The boosters are the $16.99 price point. This is MSRP. And the bricks, I believe, are $159.99 for a brick. Again, this is all MSRP. You can get this stuff cheaper than that generally out there on the sites. Okay, sweet. All right, this is definitely a promotional set. This is not the whole set. There's usually 44 figures. Um, don't quote me on that, but it's usually around 44 figures within the set. This is not 44 figures. So this is not the whole set by any means which means it's a selection of some of the uh, more sought-after pieces uh, and a few other pieces that would be on in the set. So far, they look pretty amazing. Wow, this is so cool right here. I love the frog guy. There's some... Oh, the tree is awesome. We got another cobalt. We just went over the... I'm going to set this down. We just went over the cobalt uh, warband video uh, that sure if it'll release before this or after this but you will be able to find a video on the channel where we're talking about the cobalt war band it's a brand new set that they're going to be coming out with here in the month of july 2021 put this over here and wow these look so awesome i love it every time they come out with a new full set oh it's so good all right so let's just start plowing through here all right, this is the Warforged Titan 34 of 46. Okay, so there, there's the answer. 46 in the, the, the full set. Usually it's the boosters plus like they add in some of the other large. So the full Snowbound set is 46. 34 of 46, the Warforged Titan. Absolutely love the Warforged Titan. That is so cool. I love how the hammer's coming down and smashing on the ground. I am becoming more and more of a fan. I was always a fan from the beginning. I was never someone that didn't like the clear bases. But the more I see these sculpts, the more of a fan I'm becoming of these clear bases. They are they really are the way to go. I just think they're so cool. So that looks awesome how that hammer is like smashing down on there and that like it's almost like electricity and power sort of jolting out from it. Absolutely love the War Forge. This big cleaving um, and, it, and it looks like it's on like a piston where it can like come out like this. Oh, so cool. Love that. Great bronze paint job. Nice job on the Warforge. That looks great. Put it right up here. The side-by-side -side miniature cam will start here once we get through a few of them. I'll start with these bigger ones here. 
and then we'll get with the camera. Here we've got probably a frost, uh, this is a stone giant. Nice, 33 of 46 stone giant. thought it was a frost giant at first, uh, but it is a stone giant, in fact. Um, I like the fact how well, it, had, it had this fur on it, the blue skin. So the, the fur looks good. I liked how they did the leather on this. The, the tathering of the leather on sort of the, the tunic or whatever this is he's wearing uh, looks really good. And I like how they just went with the big club. And, it, and it's, a, it's not your standard club. It literally looks like just grabbed a tree trunk and chopped it and then whittled the end down and it's it's carrying basically just a tree trunk to to clobber with so really done really well done there on the stone giant very cool i really like that really like that sculpt i like how the wash really sunk in on that blue skin as well that's a great model okay oh the tree this one i'm excited about this is 45 of 46 so it's going to carry that rarer side on a pool within the blind boxes the awakened tree is what this one is called and it is simply just a tree i was looking to see is there anything like stuck or or you know like a little skull or a bird or there is nothing it is just a simple tree it's got some knot work on it just got it got that deadly looking um kind of a harry potter type uh type look where it's just going to come out and, and walk up and and get you so that's that's an awesome piece. I have not seen anything like that in any of the sets so far. So that one might be pro that one might be one of my favorites. Okay, we're gonna get the uh, the miniature cam on now and start blowing through some of these smaller ones. We got the axe beak, a thirty of forty six. Loving this one too. This is a really unique sculpt. This axe beak that looks really awesome and it's got actually like a saddle and some packs and well maybe not yeah it does have a saddle that's under there looks like maybe bedding a tent different things it's all on its back uh, that's really cool to take along you could use that in a lot of different ways within your campaigns that i love that one excellent sculpt now this is kind of like a little group type of myconid sovereign hopefully i'm pronouncing that right 44 or 46 so again this is going to carry a little bit of that rare as well um it looks like a, a it almost looks like a mix of if you took like fungus and a mushroom and a tree and you put it all together I love this sculpt. It's so cool. This is so well done. That one's going to go on display somewhere. Really, really like that one. That one looks really... Check that one out on the miniature cam. You're going to love that. We've got a spitting mimic. Nice. Got another mimic here. Now we can work with 27 of 46. It's a spitting mimic, but it's a mimic. You generally see mimics come out of chests. This is a mimic rock. So this is a good one because you could set down like a rock on your map when you're playing your game and then all of a sudden when a player you, you could lead the players to it or if they walk by it or if there's something about it and they investigate it then you can swap it out and be like oh the rock is a mimic so well done on the rock mimic that looks great here we got is 28 out of 46 it's a snow golem so cool i do not have anything like a snow golem that is a snow golem and that is awesome and i like how they did the paint job on this because they could have made this piece a rock right i mean it looks like a rock but it has the exact same coloring and paint job as the snow golem so essentially this is supposed to be a big chunky piece of snow ice like snowball and it's the exact same color as the golem so i do like how they kept that look very consistent across the whole piece awesome Okay, here's another medium-sized one. We got the Ice Troll. Oh, this is a troll. 26 of 46. Yeah, it is a troll. Now I'm looking at the face up close. This is an actual troll. It's an Ice Troll. Um, this one's pretty cool. The only thing that I would say on this little feedback is it's a little gray for me for being an Ice Troll. I get the whole concept of, of the gray. It looks very kind of frosted and but I think it would have been good because it's an ice troll if they would have done maybe a few little uh, spikes of ice on it, kind of how they use that translucent uh, plastic, um, or a little bit of a, uh, a light blue, almost, almost this color, kind of dry brushing over the fur and the arms, um, and maybe down here on the legs, I think would have brought a little bit more of the detail of this out and would have made it feel more icy and cold where this doesn't really feel icy and cold to me. 
So that's what I would say from a review perspective on this one. Great sculpt. I really like the model. Don't get me wrong. It can be used in a lot of different ways. But if it's an ice troll, I feel like it needs to feel icy. This does not feel icy to me. All right. Now we've got the bear, which I'm, uh, this is straight polar bear, 29 of 46, just a straight up polar bear. And I seen polar bears. There's a polar bear in another set. It might be their set where you have, it's the, uh, I think it's the polymorph set. Is it the polymorph? I think it's the polymorph set came with a, came with a white, like a polar bear. I like the pose on this one. It's standing up. Uh, you know, you got the arms down. It's 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 standing up, but it's looking down. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of good posing to it that really brings out the the size and the ferocity of that polar bear. And you can see that compared to I will grab um, our test bard here, our bard halfling. You can see there uh, what that would look like. Well, let's go base to base because that's kind of a, how it would be. And you can see the um, the look. And the size of how that how that would scale and that to a halfling. So, you know, that looks really good. I love the scaling they do on these models. They always do a really good job. Okay, so let's keep going. We've got the 43 of 46. This is the Veneranda. Vener Veneranda? Yeah, Veneranda. This one is very cool. Um, love the armor, love the pose with the sword. We've got a little bendage at the end of the sword, but again, that's always easy to fix. Actually, I don't even know if I have to heat that one up. That may just uh, correct on its on its own. A little bendage there in the tip. You, you're going to get that. And it looks like I might have to dip it in a little hot and cold um, to fix that up. I like how they did the silver metallic armor on this one. And I like the spikes all the way around the shoulders. Um, and the gauntlets there, that was a really good touch. And the way that they've done the head here, where it's kind of this translucent, um, yellowish orange material, that looks so awesome. I love this one. That's another one of my favorites by far. Now we've got into a little, well, you know what? There's actually, let's do this one here because is this little thing go with this or is that probably goes with the witch maybe? Maybe that goes, that probably goes with the, we'll say that goes with the, I don't know. It is kind of connected to this piece. So um, let's, let, let's, let's look at it at the, at the same time. So here we got a, we're going to say Verbig, Verbig, maybe 36 of 46. Um, loving the look of this one with the shield and the spear and carrying that barrel. Looks like it's just a barrel full of brew. It's kind of a larger uh, model in comparison in your humanoid form. But I just really love the carrying of that barrel. And then there's a little tiny, um, what looks like a little cooking pot. And I believe it goes with that one. Maybe it goes with the witch because the coloring's the same, but it, it's kind of connected in the package to this one. So I'm going to say it goes with this one for now. But it's like a little cauldron of brew, and there's a little bit of uh, translucent uh, smoke or steam kind of coming off of it which I think looks really good. And I like the fact that they made it kind of translucent like that. It looks really cool. So that's really neat. Love that piece. That's a really good set right there. Let's go right to the, what looks like a, a, some kind of witch. This is the mod chisel bone. It's 35 of 46. And it looks almost like she's carrying like a string of intestines. I know that sounds disgusting, but that's really what it looks like. I'm not really sure exactly what that is. Uh, but it does look pretty gruesome, what she's kind of like holding and, and, and kind of got strung out there. So we've got this one. And then this is another favorite of mine, little frog guy here. we got a Bullywog Royal. This is a Royal, too, 42 of 46. I love that one. It's kind of in a squatting pose with the spear and kind of a little crown um, on made of maybe coral or something with, I mean, this very detailed little outfit. You got a little bone necklace that it's wearing really great little sculpt and model on that one. Love that little one. Here's a cobalt. This is, uh, Trex, the winged cobalt. This is a named cobalt 40 of 46. That's going to be a character. That's an actual named cobalt right there. Very cool. And next one we've got is the Ravison 41 of 46. This is cool. Total humanoid form. Um, it's carrying two uh, translucent, almost ice sickles, I would say. 
Those look really good. I like the posing on that with those icicles as well. That was done really well. That's exactly the kind of pose I would look for, holding kind of, of a dual sickle like that. And I like this big, lofty cloak that's coming off the back. It's, it's, it's fur. I, I will say on my particular one, the wash could be a little bit better. Um, the color, I think, is good. I like the color. But the wash is just not hitting for me right. I mean, it's deep. It shows. It shows. But I, I've seen. I've seen better cloaks. I've seen better color combinations with the cloaks, with the cloak and the wash. So, th again, it's a review. So there, there's the review feedback on that one. Uh, other than that, I love the pose. I love the model. I'm being a little nitpicky, but you know, it, it is a review of what these models are. Other than that, it looks really good. Love the light blue skin tone, just adding to kind of that frosty, snowbound feel. All right, let's start over here. Oh, this is an awesome one. This is a uh, this is a Spellix Gnome Wood Nom Wood Nom Wad Spellix Rom Wad. Okay, that's the only thing with these clear bases. They're kind of hard to read because they do the lettering in white, and it's like outlined. It's not solid because they're trying to make it to where you can't really see it, like looking down. So it's kind of hard to read these sometimes. 37 of 46. I absolutely love this little sculpt too. How cool is that? It's almost like a little uh, fungally like... Oh, awesome! There's like... It's got these pieces attached to its, its kneecaps that are like metallic, but they're like sparkly. They're like shiny. Almost like... Um, Maybe it's it's mined some kind of like dark colored gem. This is awesome. This is such a cool model. I love this one. I may have just found a new... Oh, it's so hard now. Which one's my favorite? I may have just found a new favorite. Hey, we're going to keep going here. This one looks like... up oh, Sea Hag. Yep, I had a feeling it was some type of hag. Sea Hag, 39 of 46. Um, pretty cool looking there on the Sea Hag, too. Usually you don't see hags without some form of like a... A, uh, like a hump or a cloak or something. This is a very um, slender formed sculpt here. It looks very humanoid and it is the sea hag. Really like that. And I like the teal they used. Got some fins kind of coming off the back. The hair is kind of seaweedy. This looks really good. I really like this one. That's very interesting sculpt. Okay, what do we got here? We have got the Grand Dolpha. This is 38 of 46, and another awesome little sculpt. This is kind of, it sort of looks almost, almost like dwarf, but gnomish. I, 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 I'm not really sure, but it, I love the sculpt on it. Um, the skin is kind of a bluish gray, more gray than it is blue. And I really like how they've put the various, it looks like a couple different types of cups, maybe, that are like hanging off the front. And the cane is a really nice touch. I love how the hair is kind of bunned up Star Wars Leia style on the side there. That's pretty cool on either side. Really cool sculpt on that one. All right, running out of room here. We got two more models. We'll pull them out and make sure. Sometimes there's some things that are attached to the there's not. We'll get that out of the way. We, our last two is a Quagoth 24 of 46. That's actually really cool. It's... It's teal and yellow, but it looks like they dry brushed it with some form of a, of a um, some type of shiny because it's got a little bit of a sheen and a shine to it. And the face is very detailed. They did a great job on the sculpting and the paint and the detail of the face. It's almost got a little bit of a Dr. Uh, Dr. Seuss um, kind of feel to it in a way if you look at just the face. I really, I really like that. That's a, that's a unique sculpt. Okay. Last one here is some form of a dragon. This is a white dragon wormling. Yes! White dragon wormling don't have any of these. They've done the green dragon. They've done the blue dragon. I don't think I've ever seen the white dragon done in a smaller wormling like this. So to complete that, I think they've done a red as well. So this may just be... Comp they have not done a purple. Well, have they? I don't think... I'll have to check, but I know I don't have one of these. So awesome to see the white now. 23 of 46, that's going to be kind of a, um, a, maybe an uncommon or a common in the set. Very cool. Love to see that. Oh, so cool. Okay, team, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the new 
Snowbound set. You know what? I can't end the video because we still have the big model that I totally forgot about. So here, here it is. So let's get into it. Boom. Let's what? What is this? Oh, I almost forgot. What? That would have sucked. That would have sucked for both you and I. Oh, what? This is odd. Well, wouldn't have sucked for me because I just would have opened it after I was done. But that would have sucked for you. <laughs> Okay, we, this thing is looking awesome, and it looks like it has with mul multiple options. Oh, yes! Yes, the mammoth! The ice wooly mammoth. Oh, that's gotta be what that is. Let's flip this over. This is just straight up called the mammoth. Oh, that is so awesome. And this one actually comes with the tail attached. Sometimes, I got a mammoth in one set where the tail wasn't attached. This is attached. The mammoth looks amazing, and look how big the base, we're gonna set this for a side for a second oh this is super cool all right first time i've seen something like this in a maybe forever i i don't know i don't remember anything like this anytime recently look how big the base is on that mammoth that is huge and the mammoth itself is huge the scaling looks right too like if you look at the scaling and compare it to some of them smaller and humanoid figures this would probably be a good example Look at the scaling on that mammoth. That thing is like Lord of the Rings style huge. That is awesome. Okay. That is so cool. And I love how they've done the sculpting on the tusks with the ropes. And the, it looks like a hook and whatnot on there. The color choice of the tusks are very interesting. They're a orangey burnt, like a burnt orange into a brown that's a different color choice than I've seen in the past with more of the bone look. But I like it. It actually works really well with the purples on the saddle and the color of brown and gray that's used for the fur. And I will say the fur is very deep cut and very sculpted. This set is this set may be, may be one to have. Um, now, this is going to carry um, a, a higher price tag, these individual models. This one should be the $79.99 uh, MSRP. So it is going to carry a little bit of a higher price tag. But this one is amazing. This is actually a real nice showpiece. And then you get another larger model uh, with it. So that would be your rider or your trapper or well, what is it called? Frost Giant. It's just it's termed as a Frost Giant carrying this large um, bag of stuff with like this worm thing kind of looks like it's coming out of it uh, and carrying a giant spear i love how they did the spear look at that spear that is awesome with the ropes hanging off of it well done the skulls on the shoulder pads oh this looks now mine the eyes could have been done a little bit better on mine but still look good they're just white but there's a, you know they could have been done a little bit better i like just the white i think i think that's the way to go just the white i love the cracked leather sculpting across this middle piece as well as the very bottom piece here that's being worn and i like that they sculpted it as it's like a double layer super awesome super awesome that it's double layer there that's so cool that's very that's very cool and then you got these loki style you know horns on the uh on the on the helmet this is this is an awesome awesome frost giant i don't have anything like that and then paired with this mammoth this is the set right here now it seems that he can mount the mammoth that is so cool so let's do some transformation here so that comes off let's feel that again how tight okay yeah it's tight enough it's tight enough, but no, it's good. I mean, if you give it a good shake, it's going to pop off, but that's how you're going to want it because, you know, you're going to be doing that. You might be doing that a number of times. So, all right, that's good. So we can set that aside and then we can hook this on. Okay. That's a little bit of a tighter fit. And then we can hook this on here. Look at that. Oh, I'm so, this is going to be so cool. All right. Then this comes off. Okay right big nice chunk so that ain't going anywhere okay i like how that's done it's not a tiny little peg where it's going to move around or it's going to slip out i mean that that is a chunky connection okay we'll set that to the side and then i don't know how i want to display this i mean it looks so cool with it 
Oh, yeah! Give it one extra little... Oh, okay, it's all the way in. No more cracks. Okay. It, you, that's how you can tell it's all the way in. It's like... Those little creak noises it makes. All right, nothing more. It's all the way in. Okay? And don't ever hold it like this and do that or you're going to snap it or snap it off. Okay? you got to be careful. If you're going to push on it like I did, make sure you're on a solid surface or make sure your hand is solid below it and your hand is solid up and your center pressure. Okay? You wouldn't want to get something this awesome and then snap it in half because you're trying to push that on there. Okay. Yeah. That, how awesome is that piece? Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, I, I am absolutely loving this. This might be my absolute favorite new piece, like, across the, the entire collection. This is just so awesome. I am loving this. The only thing that would make this better is if this was, like, a big, awesome... Like, if they did a, a, something like this in the future where it was a big, awesome bear. Like a, like a, like a, like bear. Like an actual grizzly brown bear with, like, armor on and, and a saddle. And some kind of dwarven, like, ranger on top. Mm, that would be so awesome. So, so cool. I love that piece. And, you know, you've got the option there of, of displaying it like that. Or, you know, you can have the Frost Giant standing next to it, which I think equally looks as cool. But I love this, like, mounted look. It just makes the piece feel so much bigger in scale. I mean, could you imagine this coming into your campaign? This is a, this is a standard humanoid, okay? Th like, there's the scale. It's just, it's amazing. Like you could have a scenario where you're where you're communicating there. Maybe the frost giant gets off, and then you you know you pop it apart real quick, and then now you're just talking to the frost giant off the mammoth. Well done, Whiz Kids, on this one. This is amazing. So, with that, this is now the end of this video. I hope everybody enjoyed the brand new Snowbound set. Again, you can get your hands on this set. Hopefully in the August time frame, that's the plan for this one, is the August release time frame. You can pre-order now, Snowbound, if you're interested in this set, and get your hands on these fantastic pieces, right? So hit that like, hit subscribe, little join the team, keep rolling, this has been the McGuire Review, and we'll see you next time.